check this out. Folks, it's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. And what can I say? I like the lights. I like the lights. I like those lights and I like those lights. <laughs> Folks, today we're going to be doing a review of these lights that I like so much. They're from a company called Twinkly and we're looking at the Twinkly Flex. This is a LED, LED tube lighting solution and also the Twinkly Line. Your typical RGB LED light strips, but all of these come with a twist. Now, in this review, I'm going to talk about everything, okay? We'll, we'll talk a little bit about what you get when you buy these products, like what the actual unboxing, all the things that you need to get it up and running. Then we'll talk a little bit about the installation process, you know, and why I decided to install these in my studio, like probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life or one of the best decisions I've made uh, quite lately. And then I'm going to talk about the Twinkly app. And this app gives you freaking hundreds of customization options when it comes to LED light effects. So without further ado, you know how we do it here at Andy Andy Media. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, folks. And cue the intro. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. You're going to notice that there are three boxes here, and that's because I have the Twinkly Flex, which is a separate product, but also I have the Twinkly Line Starter Kit and also the Twinkly Line Expansion Pack. And this is really important because here's the thing that you're going to notice. When you take out the Twinkly Flex, You'll notice that this LED tube is about six and a half feet. The box, apparently online, you can get them seven feet. I don't know why, but the one that I have is six and a half feet. Now the Twinkly line over here, they come in five feet strips. And that's why you want the expansion pack. Because I'm telling you, when it comes to LED strips, unless you're just going like underneath your like bedroom window, Five feet is not enough, okay? Five feet is like barely scratching the surface. So if you do get the line, you're gonna wanna get this expansion kit. And I'll just say right now, I just wish they made longer expansion kits because all of my LED projects that I've already done in my house, man, I'm like, I'm, I've ran like 32 feet lines before. So five just seems really small to me. But they give you a lot of different types of flexibility and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, inside the app. Now, also what you'll notice is that these LED strips, you know, compared to the kind that I've bought online before, they have this super long extension cord. And that power cord is really important because it gives you a lot of flexibility on where you place it. You get a lot of lines so that you could do it right. And we're going to talk about this later on the install, but you always want to make sure that you hide that, that cable, okay? It's just not a good look, folks. Take the time, hide the cables. It's just going to look way more pro. So you also notice that inside, especially for the flex, they come with these little plastic clips. And these clips are important because that's actually what holds the flexible line on the wall. And they're kind of clear and transparent, so you can't see it right now. But that is how it's being, you know, situated on the wall. Now these clips come with adhesive and they also come with screws. I tried to use just the adhesive, put it on the wall, put the, the LED tube on it. But it's got some weight to it. And what you're going to notice is that um, that even if you put it on the adhesive, probably like the next day or two, it's going to fall off. So unfortunately, you're going to have to use the screws. And I know a lot of people don't want to put screws in the wall. You could be renting. It's not your house. Um, but here's the thing. And here's a handy Andy tip. These screws are super small, okay? They're just making little tiny holes. In the event that if you had to ever plug them up, you probably could get away with just putting paint, a couple like coats of paint on it. And if that didn't work, you can just take a little bit of mud. You can go like Canadian Tire, Home Depot, get a little bit of mud. Just put it on your finger, just like rub it in there. It's like a little booger. Put it like that. It'll dry up and it'll be perfectly good as new. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to need to use those screws. Everything's going to fall off if you don't use those screws. So let's go ahead and talk about the install process. Now, when it came to like where I was going to install these lights, as soon as I turned them on and I saw the colors, I was just like freaking eureka moment. I'm like, I am going to pimp my studio. And as you can see behind me, that's exactly what I did. And it looks fantastic. Now, the, the actual flex, I did the RGB thing. 
I actually kind of tried to create this design behind me. And I'll tell you one thing. When <laughs> First of all, you don't want to do this by yourself. Trying to like design this thing and you have to use the clips to hold it in place so then you end up having clips that you're going to be taking off, which puts holes in the wall. Make sure you have a friend when you kind of design this. You can kind of get that feedback and come up with your own intricate design. I had to do it by myself and I kind of regret it. I should have had some help when I was putting this up. But uh, I don't know if you could see it, but I was trying to replicate like, you know, mountains, you know, from like the West Coast. So I was trying to get like the little mountains and stuff. So I don't know if you could see it, but that was kind of design. Like I, it's probably the hardest part of this install was coming up with the design, like installing the stuff, putting screws in the wall and, you know, those little clips. It's easy peasy. The actual LED RGB strips, well, those ones actually have adhesive on the back. And this is typical with any RGB strip. But so what I did is you can see I have it on underneath and above these uh, foam tiles that I have. These acoustic, acoustic diffusers, I guess is what they're called. Basically, it stops the echo in the room and that's why I have them here in my studio. But what it, it really came out good because the thing about these RGB strips is you don't actually want to see the actual lights themselves, those individual LED lights. It's not really a good look. It looks kind of cheap. It looks really good when you can't see the light, but you can see the glow of all the lights together. So as you can see, it is kind of glowing against the wall. You can see my website now is just on top of that. So it kind of illuminates it without actually having to see those individual LED lights. Now, what's interesting is that expansion pack actually comes with this black cable that allows you to connect it on one end of a strip and then connect it to another end of the strip. And this is important if you're gonna do what I did over here, where I basically put it put that, that black cable behind these uh, foam tiles. So you can't see it, but then it connects it onto the bottom. And this allowed me to have two LED strips connected without being continuously connected. So I didn't have to have like light LED strip behind that foam. I was able to do it like this, and I kind of like the look. I totally wanted to do all of it, but like I said, I only had five feet strips, two five feet strips to work with, so I did five on the top, five on the bottom. But theoretically, I should be able to expand it so I can get it across all of these uh, uh, tiles behind me. So the install is super easy. You know, like I said, you have the adhesive, so you can just put it onto anything. Here's a little tip, and I've noticed this with the LED strip. Sometimes that adhesive comes off. All you gotta do is use a little bit of crazy glue, tap it here and there every couple of feet, and that's just gonna give it extra strength uh, to stay on your surface. However, it might get really stuck, so if you try to take it off, it might rip the paint off at the same time. So uh, bear in mind that if you do wanna get that extra strength, it might come at a cost of being hard to remove later on. But all in all, I don't know, man. You guys gotta let me know in the comments. What do you think about the setup that I did? What do you think about the design with the flex light? What do you think about not having my website here with this font? And that's a whole other separate video. I'll talk about how I made that actual sign. Now let's go ahead and open up the Twinkly app and show you all the freaking crazy things you can do with these LED lights, man. This is unlike all the other LED lights that I have reviewed in the past because typically you can only get like a solid color, red, green, purple, or what have you. As you can see behind me, you have a variety of different types of effects. So we'll start with the flex tube here because this is like probably my favorite. I just, it's got that net or that retro neon light look, you know, that you would see on, on signs from like the 60s and, and, and such. But it looks like inside your house, man. Like you can just get your, you get your art on, get your creative on do something really cool and or like a landscape like I tried to do with the mountains. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the effects over here. So there are so many effects that you can choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and switch around. Remember Snake? Remember the game Snake? Check that out. You got a little snake going effect. I'm going to try something else. Let's go horizontal flag. So you can change the different flag colors. Let's say you're from France. You want to get your France colors on. You can go ahead. Say from Germany, get your German lights on. So you got a variety of different things. And what's great about this app is everything is customizable. So you, if you don't like that color combination, you can go ahead and program it. But a lot of these things, like here we got waves. Like the world's your oyster at this point. Look at all the different types of effects that you have. Like you can have so much fun. Here's a little vintage. 
Like it's just endless, endless, endless fun. So the cool thing is in the app, you can actually set your favorites because there's so many you might actually forget. I personally like this rainbow effect. I like the, just the way that the LED lights uh, move across. Now let's go ahead and look at the line. I can go into there and show you how I can switch those as well. Not all the effects are, are the same. It really depends on the lighting system that you have, but all of these can be done inside the Twinkly app. So let's try night sky. What does that look like? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Let's do uh, unicorn sun. Ooh. Now say I want to edit that. I like that, but I was like, you know what? It's going a little fast for me. Let me see if I can go ahead and edit that. I can go and adjust the speed and watch this. We'll slow that down. Slow it down. Let's go all the way slow. Like, Okay, super slow. Now watch this. Now you want to go all frantic like you're freaking cray cray. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> so much fun, I'm telling you. I feel like a kid. To play with these apps, playing with these colors, I literally feel like I'm a 12 year old again. So let's see. Um, there's also ambiances. So I'm going to, what's flare? You can get your little flare on. Anyways, I can just sit here and just go through all these effects all day. What I'm really trying to tell you folks is this might be one of my favorite gadgets of 2021. Out of all the tech products that I've reviewed, this is right up there just because of the effect that it has. That said, I would like to see a couple of improvements. Number one, give me the ability to connect two of these flexes together. Imagine being able to connect two tubes, just make longer tubes because what happens and this is something that you'll realize if you use this, the, the flex tube LED lighting solution from Twinkly, is that you want it to be longer so you can make more intricate designs and stuff. Just this six and a half, seven feet, just not, it's such a tease. It's such a tease. I just want to keep going, but you can't. So you have to get another one. You could group them together, um, but you can't connect it to have that one continuous tube line. Imagine. I'm freaking John Lennon here, man. I'm just imagining, except I'm imagining a tube LED lighting that's like 14, 15 feet. You can make the entire thing your art. Like every wall could become a canvas if you can have it like that. The other con is, and I mentioned this earlier, the uh, line LED RGB strips, they come in five feet increments. Five feet is just not enough, man. Like, trust me, I've been putting LED strips up for a long time. I've had 32 you know, you know, feet strips. I got strips in, uh, in my Airbnb street, the, the smart central city smart home. I got strips in my kitchen. I got strips on my back deck. Five feet is nothing, okay? I love the ability, to, the, the effects that you could do inside the app, but you gotta make it longer. There's gotta be a hack. There's gotta be a way. If anybody knows any other solution that can do this and give you those effects, but give you longer LED strips, Holla at your boy, okay? Because this is such a tease again. Tease one, tease two. I have been teased, but that said, it still looks dope in my studio right now. And so let me know in the comments below what you think about this setup. What do you think? Did I do justice to these twinkly lights? Um, are you interested in them? What do you want to use them for? What would you use them for if you had it? What would also, you like to see improvements if you already have this. Leave all those in the comments below. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this review. My studio is looking freaking dope, people. I'm just, can you tell that I'm happy? I'm like, I feel like a little kid right now because I got this like funky LED light situation going right behind me. Um, it just, I don't know, man. It puts me in a better mood. It, it's just the studio, the ambiance of having these, these lights changing colors just puts me in a better, <laughs> puts me in a better mood. What can I say, man? Your boy is freaking happy. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Twinkly LED lights, both the Flex and the Line. If you want more information, just go in the descriptions. You can find the links below to purchase these. If you like this video, you know how we do. Smash that like button. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this whole studio setup that I got going. I promise you, if you leave a comment, I am going to personally respond back to you. And finally, if you haven't, Subscribe to this channel. Help your boy out. If you want a crazy tech guy who comes up with freaking crazy ideas, some good, some bad, maybe a lot bad, some good, 
this is definitely a good idea. You want to make sure you subscribe. Once again, it's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, from HandyAndyMedia.com. See you again next time. Bye for now.